Here we go again. Chelsea are reportedly preparing a player plus cash bid for Manchester United winger Jadon Sancho, according to reports from Fabrizio Romano and The Sun. The London club is said to be offering Raheem Sterling in exchange, with additional cash, in hopes of landing the England international. Sancho, who has struggled for consistency at Old Trafford, could find a fresh start at Stamford Bridge under Mauricio Pochettino, while Sterling's inclusion in the deal offers Manchester United an experienced forward who has previously shined in the Premier League. Enzo Maresca's Chelsea are looking to strengthen their attack, and Sancho, still considered one of England's top talents, might fit the profile they need. However, United's willingness to accept this proposal remains uncertain, as manager Eric Ten Hag may still see potential in Sancho's development. The deal is still in its early stages, but it could spark significant changes for both Premier League giants as they look to reshape their squads for the season ahead. Meanwhile, there have been no bids for Christian Eriksen, according to Fabrizio Romano. He told Give Me Sport that, for Eriksen, it will depend on the proposals. A lot of rumors, a lot of stories, but from what I heard, there is still no bid on Manchester United's table. They have not received any formal approach from any club. Let's see if someone will arrive with a good proposal for Eriksen, and if that proposal is quite attractive for the player, that could be the case otherwise, that he will leave. At the moment, the situation is still quiet from what I'm hearing, so it will depend on proposals. But again, a lot of noise, but still, no bids on the table. In other news, Rio Ferdinand believes Man United were wrong to sell Danny Welbeck. Nothing surprises me with Danny Welbeck, Ferdinand said on TNT Sports. I watched him as a young kid at Manchester United, and he was a wonderful player. I couldn't believe it when United agreed to let him go, because I thought he had so much value, not only as a player, but just around the place as well as a former academy player. I think he's someone who players who have played against him respect more than some fans who don't quite realize how difficult he is to play against. He's a great professional too. However, Ruud van Nistelrooy has taken Marcus Rashford under his wing as he bids to return him to his best. Rashford is still a world away from the brilliant form of two years ago, when he was Manchester United's standout star. Now van Nistelrooy, who returned as one of Eric Ten Hag's assistants in the summer, is holding one-on-one -on -one sessions with the misfiring frontman to resolve the problem. Rashford, 26, has not scored since a quick-fire 3-3 three three nearly 20 months ago. On the other side, Manchester United's summer transfer window is heating up as multiple high-profile deals are reportedly in motion. With a focus on balancing departures and new signings, United seems to be reshaping its squad as the Premier League season gets underway. According to recent reports, Manchester United have agreed to a deal that will send Scottish midfielder Scott McTominay to Italian giants Napoli. Scott McTominay has already accepted Napoli and their project. Details to be discussed about his payoff, similar to Juan Bissaka. This is the main part to fix plus personal terms. Club-to-club -club agreement done with Man United for 30 millions of euros fee and add-ons included plus sell-on clause. After spending years in United's youth academy and first team, McTominay has often found himself in and out of the starting 11, particularly with increased competition in midfield. Napoli, reigning Serie A champions, are looking to bolster their squad in their title defense and upcoming Champions League campaign. McTominay's versatility, work ethic, and defensive attributes have caught the attention of Napoli's coaching staff making him a suitable fit for the club's style of play. Meanwhile, in a separate development, Manchester United's Jadon Sancho has become a subject of interest for Juventus and Chelsea. The winger, who joined the Red Devils from Borussia Dortmund with high expectations, has struggled to consistently deliver the kind of performances that made him one of Europe's hottest prospects. Juventus, in particular, are reportedly exploring a potential loan or permanent move for the Englishmen as they look to rebuild their squad after a challenging season. Chelsea, on the other hand, are also keeping tabs on Sancho, viewing him as a versatile option to strengthen their attacking depth. Sancho's future at Old Trafford has been in question, especially given his inconsistent form and growing competition in United's wide positions. A move to either club could offer Sancho a fresh start, but United may only let him leave if a satisfactory deal can be struck, especially after spending a significant sum to bring him to the club just two years ago. Additionally, in terms of incomings, 
Manchester United are reportedly close to finalizing a deal for Paris Saint-Germain's Manuel Ugarte. Renowned transfer expert Fabrizio Romano has suggested that the Red Devils are keen to add the Uruguayan midfielder to their ranks. Ugarte, a dynamic and combative presence in midfield, has impressed at PSG with his physicality and ball-winning ability. United manager Eric Ten Hag has been eager to add steel and energy to his midfield, and Ugarte's arrival could significantly bolster United's options in the center of the park. The potential signing of Ugarte follows a busy summer for United. With several pieces of the puzzle coming together, Manchester United's transfer activity signals a clear intent to compete at the highest levels this season. The departures of key players like McTominay and possibly Sancho, combined with high-profile signings like Ugarte, illustrate the club's efforts to strengthen the squad while also making room for new talent. As negotiations continue, all eyes will be on how United balance out their squad and whether these reported deals come to fruition before the window closes, again and again. Joe Cole believes Brazilian Antony wants to move from Old Trafford. He told TNT Sports, Manchester United brought on Antony who in all due respect probably isn't happy to just play 10 or 15 minutes. He's an 80 millions of pounds player. He probably wants out the door at United and they probably want him out as well. You're bringing him on and in that crucial moment when there's a ball to be won, a body needs to be put on the line for your team and for your club. He didn't do it and it cost his team. That's the difference. If you look at the running the Brighton subs went through, it was fantastic. On the other hand, Ten Hag slams a team. He said that, we concede two soft goals where we should act better as a team. You can't drop points. It is so unnecessary if you protect the goal like we do and then drop points. Football is about details and we have to do better on such occasions. It is very disappointing, especially when over long parts of the game we had control. We conceded two unnecessary goals. Very avoidable. We have to be more clinical in both boxes. How we conceded the goals was very soft. It shouldn't have happened. We should be better organized in such moments. We have to talk and be aligned in such moments. Everyone knows their job, and as a team, we protect our goal. There were some very good parts in the game. We had a lot of control in possession and created some chances, showed resilience, and came back and scored what we thought was the winning goal. We have to take this. It's a disappointment but I can take a lot of positives from the performance. Additionally, Eric Ten Hag has explained the absence of Jadon Sancho from his Manchester United squad faced by Brighton. Speaking to TNT Sports before kickoff, he said, He's here. I had a choice to make. We had some issues. We need a full squad. He's one of them and needs to compete for his position. We'll have a look. In the squad, it's a long season. Sancho was frozen out of the first team last season following a spat with Ten Hag before he returned to Borussia Dortmund on loan for half a season. After coming back, Sancho and Ten Hag have buried the hatchet on their feud, though it appears the winger has more work to do if he is to get back into the squad. Sancho has also been linked with a transfer exit from Old Trafford, with several European giants club including Paris Saint-Germain, Juventus, and Chelsea. On the other side, Manchester United have reportedly reached an agreement to sign Malian wonderkid Seko Kohn from Guidars FC. The 18-year-old defensive midfielder is set to have a medical next week, ahead of a move worth one millions of pounds. Kohn is considered one of Africa's brightest young talents, and his signing reflects Manchester United's commitment to bolstering their youth ranks. Upon completion of the deal, Cohn will initially join the club's under-21 squad to allow him time to adjust to the demands of English football and life in the UK. The signing of Cohn aligns with United's long-term strategy of identifying and nurturing young talents, especially in key positions. His arrival adds depth to United's midfield options for the future, and if his development goes according to plan, he could become an important player for the senior squad in the coming years. While Sancho's potential departure may dominate headlines, United's acquisition of Cohn is a move aimed at securing the club's future, ensuring that they continue to build a squad capable of competing at the highest levels in years to come.